God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, December 29th. Like yesterday, today's devotional is based on Sirach chapter 24, verses 1 to 12. Wisdom praises herself and tells of her glory in the midst of her people. In the assembly of the Most High, she opens her mouth, and in the presence of his hosts, she tells of her glory. I came forth from the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth like a mist. I dwelt in the highest heavens, and my throne was in a pillar of cloud. Alone I compassed the vault of heaven and traversed the depths of the abyss. Over waves of the sea, over all the earth, and over every people and nation I have held sway. Among all these I sought a resting place, in whose territory should I abide? Then the Creator of all things gave me a command, and my Creator chose the place for my tent. He said, Make your dwelling in Jacob, and in Israel receive your inheritance. Before the ages, in the beginning, he created me, and for all the ages, I shall not cease to be. In the holy tent, I minister before him, and so I was established in Zion. Thus, in the beloved city, he gave me a resting place, and in Jerusalem was my domain. I took root in an honored people, in the portion of the Lord, his heritage. So, today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Kendra Holtz. In Sirach, wisdom is present and active in creation as both word and spirit. I came forth from the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth like a mist. The word of God, calling creation into being, and the spirit of God, covering all the earth, are presented in Sirach in, per in personal form as wisdom. Although wisdom refers to God as her creator, she is also affiliated with language that the Bible usually reserves for the Creator. In Job, it is God who travels across the vault of heavens and searches out the depths of the sea. But here, that journey is wisdom's. In Exodus, it is God who is present with the people in the pillar of the cloud. But in Sirach, the pillar of cloud is wisdom's throne. Clearly then, Sirach identifies wisdom with God's own self. And Holtz leaves us with this today. What new understanding about wisdom emerged from your contemplation on this reflection about Siraj? Let us pray. Mother of all wisdom, may your active presence in our world be known as we are attentive to your word and to your spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask so we can knock down the COVID curve. God bless.